Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I feel like you guys probably would not have known this, but if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely would have seen this all over my Instagram. I honestly upload so many photos of it, it's not even funny. So in today's video, I'm pretty much going to be showing you all what's in my bag, or the current bag that I've been holding. I don't even remember the last time I filmed this video. It was ages ago, like way, way back when I first got my Givenchy. And I recently upgraded, well not recently, I've had this bag for a couple of months actually. I fall in love with it more and more every day and it was honestly the best decision and best investment I made. And I'm so happy that I get to call this little baby mine. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting but today I'm going to be showing you all what's in my Gucci Marmon in the velvet version. This one is the small, I believe. It just fits everything for me. If you guys know me, you know I love my smaller bags. And this is kind of me in a bag, really. I just love it so much. It kind of fits everything. It goes with everything. And I don't have to worry about it kind of clashing. I really do prefer my smaller bags. So for a while, I was holding the Alexander Wang. I think it's the Rocky or Rocco. I always get confused between the two, but it's the smaller version. And I was holding that back for a while, so an upgrade was definitely necessary. This time I did decide to go with a black. If you guys do want more of like an in-depth video, I'd be more than happy to, but today I'm just going to kind of be showing you what's in it. I did decide to go with the black just because I feel like I did need a smaller black bag to kind of go with everything. I believe it does come in a few different colours as well. I know there's like a blush, there's like a green, there's a red, there's a whole bunch of different colours. Really love this one and it's so soft. Every time I'm holding it I feel like I'm cradling a little pet and I'm constantly kind of like rubbing it which I don't think is good but we're just gonna roll with it. So with this bag you can hold it one shoulder, crossbody, or you could even just kind of shorten the strap and then hold it like so. With the bag as well it does have matte gold hardware. I think it's matte gold because it's not really shiny and I've got my ring light on and it's not really reflecting any light which I think is really good because when you are wearing gold jewellery or anything like that it doesn't kind of clash. I think the last time I filmed this video I was showing you guys my Givenchy which I now use just as a work bag and I think at the time I was using it for uni so it was kind of the big bag that I needed. But I feel like now that I am maturing, I find smaller bags are a lot easier to wear and they just, I can kind of squeeze everything into them and I'll still have everything I need, if that makes any sense. So if you guys want to see what I keep in my bag, then please go ahead and keep on watching. So pretty much with the bag, there's just like a little clasp and then you kind of just push it open and then it just pops off. So I'm just going to pick up the first thing that I see and that is my Mecca Cosmetica Multipurpose Plumping Balm. This is kind of just like an all-in-one cream for me. I just like to keep this in my bag because it just kind of helps to refresh my makeup or sometimes even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I will use it just kind of to highlight the skin, um, add a bit of glow. I do also use it like on my lips, if I'm feeling a bit tired, I'll just kind of pat it under my eyes. Um, or if my hands are feeling really dry, I will use it on my hands as well. Also, the lipstick that I'm wearing would usually be in my bag. Just for today, I did have it on the side because I did have to apply it on. So, for instance, I would have the Saw Lip Liner by MAC. And I did put on a bit of the MAC lipstick in Midi Morph. And those would usually be in my bag if that was the lipstick that I had on. I do have a pair of sunnies. I just like to keep sunnies in my handbag because you never know when they're going to come in handy. These ones are just my black Prada sunglasses. They do have a bit of the leopard print on the side. Not 100% sure what those are called. I did get them as a gift but I will link them down below or just put them somewhere on the screen. But these ones I've had for a while. I've had them for the longest time and I just find they're really versatile and they're kind of the same as my bag. They just go with everything. I do also like to keep a pack of wipes. You never know when they're going to come in handy. I either have like a packet of wipes or some hand sanitizer. I'm a bit of a clean freak so of course I'm going to have either wipes or hand sanitizer in my bag. I do also like to keep some mints because again you never know when they're going to come in handy. I do also have a smaller wallet that I like to keep in my bag. This has pretty much got all my cards, my loose change, hair ties, bobby pins, you name it and it's probably in here. This is the Mimco 
pouch. This one has the rose gold hardware. This one, again, I've had for such a while, like you could see the scratching and the hardware just kind of rubbing off. I'm pretty sure I've had it for years and pretty much it's just jam-packed with things. I like to keep like a small perfume in here. I've got my Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. This is for the lips. This is the best thing ever for your lips. I'm pretty sure I spoke about this in my last What's In My Bag video as well. Honestly, best thing for dry skin and dry lips. I do also have like a lip liner in here, which I don't think I've used in a while. I've got a nail clipper, of course. Not sure why I have that in there. I have a band-aid. I've got a hair tie. And as I was saying, I do have a few of my cards and some coins and I... I think this is a fisheye lens that I bought ages ago. Don't know why this is still in there because I don't think I've used it in years. But that's in there. I would also have my phone in my bag. This is just the MI Mix, I think it's called. My hubby is a bit of a kind of tech addict. So we kind of change phones regularly or we like to experiment with the technology. And this is a really good phone. The camera quality on this phone is really amazing. Found the battery life is really great. Also in my bag another hair tie. I do also have a pen. And then a few more lip products. I have just a gloss. This is just a clear gloss and then I do also have a lip balm. You can never have enough lip products to be honest in your handbag and clearly I 100% relate with that. I would also have my car keys in my bag but they are sitting on the bench so nothing to show there. But that's pretty much it. All emptied out. I do also like to keep the authenticity card in here not for any particular reason um, just that if I leave it anywhere else it will most likely get lost but yeah as you guys saw it does fit quite a few things and I really love this bag it was honestly the best decision I made and I don't think I will ever kind of like not be happy that I purchased it I think I was thinking about this bag for like the longest time I was honestly kind of like saving so many pics of it on Pinterest and anytime I saw kind of like a flat lay of someone that had it on I just saved it on my phone and I'm like you're gonna be mine one day and here we are so that's pretty much everything in my bag I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video as always I will have all product links as well as all my links down below so don't forget to check that out also, come follow me on Instagram if you want to see more photos of my bag and just more photos in general and kind of just keep up to date with me on life. Then go ahead and follow me on there as well because I pretty much regularly, daily post there I should say. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!